Hey everybody. I was just standing here with a buddy of mine and we noticed that my rainbow fish are spawning, for lack of a better word. Uh, I have all males in the tank and yet they are clearly displaying for each other and they're going through the motions. Uh, obviously they're not spawning, but they are going through more than the display dance that I saw them doing the other day. The other day they were dashing and chasing each other around and flaring their fins and doing all that. But today they are actually getting in there and they're, they're acting very similar to my Congos. I'm trying to get it on video here and I think we might in a moment. Uh, they're going down and lying up against the sides of the rocks and wiggling their bodies almost like they're spawning. You know, the, the physical actual act of spawning and not the display behavior. So it's really strange. I've never seen it before, but as always, whenever I see something interesting like this, I always try to get it on video. Uh, we were just discussing whether or not I should be considering moving these fish out of this tank or not because it is getting kind of crowded. And the colors on these are just incredible. When they get into this spawning frenzy like this, the, the orange just starts glowing and that black gets so rich and dark. It's just gorgeous. But bioload wise, this tank is fine. It's just getting visually a little overcrowded. It just doesn't look right anymore with the size of these fish and the way these rainbows need to dash and dart and swim around. So, I don't know. I'm back to what I was talking about before, and that's what we were discussing, whether or not the uh, rainbows could effectively go in the Garami tank or not. And it's looking more and more like I'm going to wind up putting these rainbows in my 125 with my African-themed fish i really don't want to just because i've had that tank established for so long in a certain way it's just it's that's the way that tank looks in my mind so these rainbows in there would really change the feel of that tank and that's really my only concern i know they would fit i know they would look gorgeous in there and they probably would even spawn or um, not spawn school uh, or shoal with the congos and if not actually with them then they certainly wouldn't be aggressive towards anybody and I don't think I'd have any issues in that regard either so we'll see it's just going to be a matter of bringing myself around to do it uh, at any rate I do have company standing here quietly while I'm shooting this video so I'm not going to drag it on too much longer I just wanted to get a little bit of this uh, behavior on video and I certainly wanted to get some of this beautiful color on video so there we go that's exactly what I was talking about look at the way they're doing that it's like a dog pile. It's a fish pile. I've never seen that before. That's that's really unusual considering the tank is all males. Now I know some fish will change sex under certain conditions and you know breeding pressures. So I wonder if it's possible if I've got some females in here now, whereas I originally paid good money for all males. It's interesting. I'll have to keep my eyes on that. At any rate, make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything. I'm going to keep my eye on this tank for the rest of the evening. And if I get any more uh, behavior like this that I find worth videoing, I will certainly get it. And that way, if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of it. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget this is my T-Bar and Gudgeon tank. I'll see you real soon in the next one.